What's going on, fellas? I'm your host, Manpreet, a.k.a. MMA Lock of the Night, and your boy on Twitter at MMALOT, and I am back with another edition of the Prize Picks Tips. I'm going to be giving you guys my three top plays uh, for my Prize Picks slate this weekend, and the Prize Picks has really taken off. Make sure you guys go check them out, prizepicks.com. Make sure you guys use promo code UFC100, and they will match your initial deposit up to 100 bucks. but uh, they're really taking off in terms of originally when I started with prize picks they were only giving out fantasy points but now they're actually upping it we got fantasy points we got takedowns we got total minutes and we got significant strikes now as well so uh, a lot of different ways that you can uh, construct your prize picks plays and hopefully i'm uh, able to go out there and give you guys some solid spots to cash on one thing i will say though i am going to be adding to the patreon a prize picks tips uh article where i'm briefly going to go every single briefly go over every single matchup maybe one or two sentences at most but but give you guys at least the, the best price picks uh, spot that you guys should be taking advantage of in each specific fight. I'm not 100%. You know, what? actually, I will be dropping it for this UFC 263 card. Uh, it's going to be up super early on fight day. So if you guys want to go check it out, make sure you guys go check it out. Again, the Patreon, the link is in the description below. So you guys can get the info there. But what you guys are here for are the price picks tips for this week. And then quickly, I will be having the scoring system up on my screen at some point during this initial intro but it's pretty much they score takedowns they score uh, uh takedown stuffed they score uh, significant strikes the the method of victory all of that stuff and you have to pretty much uh put together a three leg or a two leg between two legs or five leg parlay of over unders regarding uh like i said takedowns minutes um, significant strikes or fantasy points and you can mix them all up you don't have to pick all fantasy points you don't have to pick all minutes you can go you know the total you can go significant strikes and uh, minutes and it can all uh, be a parlay again uh, all three of them need to hit they do have options where it's like a flex play or something like that where at least two out of three of them need to hit for you to be able to make some money off of it but there's a ton of different ways you can construct your prize picks plays uh, so I'm hoping to shed some light for that uh, on for you guys on that uh, once again, make sure you guys check out Prize Picks, PrizePicks.com. Promo code UFC100, and they'll match your initial deposit up to 100 bucks. Trust me, just another way for us to go out there and try to make money on the UFC fights this weekend. We got betting, we got DraftKings, now we got Prize Picks. So make sure you guys take full advantage of that. All right. First and foremost, I'm going to go with the main event here. We got Marvin Vittori, and I'm going to take the over two and a half takedowns. Now, I believe about four of his fights, uh, or a couple of his, his, his fights in the UFC, he's actually landed more than three takedowns. But I believe in this one, uh, when he went up against Israel Adesanya the first time, he landed two takedowns in three rounds. Now we're getting a full five rounds, and I expect this to go 50, 25 minutes, regardless who, end, who ends up getting their hand raised. But I do think that we'll see Vittori successful on at least three takedowns here, which is why I'm going to be going with the over. We know pretty much that's the way to beat Israel Adesanya now Vittori was very successful with it in the third round of their fight and then obviously Jan Blachowicz last time around against Israel Adesanya was very successful in getting dragging him to the ground and getting his game going that way too so uh, there are definitely ways for us to go out there and, and capitalize on this fight and I think that Vittori over two and a half takedowns is the best way to go to, to go about it because I truly believe he'll land at least three, three takedowns in this fight even if he doesn't end up winning this fight and as long as it goes the full 25 minutes so there you have it. Vittori over two and a half takedowns is a spot that I'm going to be looking at, which is the first prize picks tip that I'm going to give you guys. Our second one is in the third last fight from the top, uh, the non-title fight, non-main event five rounder that we got between Leon Edwards and Nate Diaz. I'm going once again with the over two and a half takedowns. Now, I believe there's four times that Leon Edwards has landed at least three takedowns in a, in a UFC fight, but I expect him to, to you know, uh, have that as a in his back pocket to use on Nate Diaz as Nate Diaz does have a very uh you know poor takedown defense game and I think he trusts his back uh his jiu-jitsu off of his back a little bit too much which will allow Leon Edwards to con get control time minutes and be able to rack up uh you, you know just just get the judges scorecards uh with landing takedowns and you know clearly landing the control and, and uh getting the better strikes off uh, especially from that top position when he lands the takedowns. So I do think that we'll see Edwards, you know, mix in takedowns, have striking exchanges, but those takedowns will always be there for him. And if you're telling me that he should at least land three takedowns in this fight, I'm going to be taking that. Again, 
He's been landing takedowns in several p- fights in the past, and it's definitely uh, a caveat that he adds to his game, and he's not just a striker. Again, he does have good work from on top. I expect him to go out there and land at least three t- three takedowns here against the Nate Diaz, who just doesn't care to be taken down. You know what I mean? He he doesn't mind it. He almost invites it because he believes that he'll be successful enough off of his back to make you pay for taking him down. But Leon Edwards is not the guy that you want uh, taking you down, and Nate Diaz is going to learn that uh, lesson the hard way. So once again, I'm going to go with... A- Leon Edwards with over two and a half takedowns. And lastly, the last prize pick tip that I'm going to be giving you guys, I got Jamal Hill, uh, his fight to go under seven and a half minutes. I expect there to be absolute chaos in this fight with both guys going out there uh, and, and putting it on the line. You know, Paul Craig needs to get this fight to the ground to get his jiu-jitsu game going, and Jamal Hill needs to keep it vertical so that he can go out there and starch Jamal Hill. There's been a ton of trash talk between these guys since the first time they were scheduled back in March, and I'm expecting it to come to a boiling point once they reach in the once they reach the cage and the cage door closed. I'm expecting both guys to throw hell and high water at each other with Paul Craig, you know, maybe just swinging bombs so that he can close the distance to get the fight to the ground to to get his jujitsu game going. And Jamal Hill, on the other hand, being a little bit cautious, but I think he has the power to put Paul Craig on his butt and eventually uh, finish him via TKO. So uh, I'm thinking this all happens within seven and a half minutes, which is why I'm taking the under for this Jamal Hill and Paul Craig fight. So once again, let me just recap that for you guys. I got Marvin Vittori over two and a half takedowns. I got Leon Edwards over two and a half takedowns. And then I got the Jamal Hill fight going under seven and a half minutes. Like I said at the top of the show, I will be do- dropping a quick article on my Patreon page to go through every single fight and giving you guys my best spot, uh, prize pick spot for every single spot. Um... I might even integrate it into my best pet bets and props article as so I don't have to uh, go out there and, and make so many different articles for you guys. But I'll definitely be dropping one for UFC 263 early on fight day. So if that interests you, check out the Patreon. Link is in the description below. Five bucks a month. You guys get a ton of great content on there, not to mention a great Discord community that uh, is very lively nowadays. Very positive, very lively. And we're cashing on bets, not just uh, for MMA and UFC, but we have a lot of guys dropping uh, baseball, basketball, Ball, hockey all those picks uh, into our community picks chat and uh, they're, they're having a lot of fun so make sure you guys check out the discord as well if you guys do end up signing up for the patreon but the main thing i want to hammer home make sure you guys check out prize picks prizepicks.com uh, use promo code ufc100 and they will match your initial deposit up to 100 bucks trust me you're going to want to do it as it does add another uh, angle for us to go out there and try to make some money off the UFC. And uh, I believe it will be very successful for us. And hopefully these three tips I just dropped for you guys is uh, ammo enough for you guys to go out there and sign up for prize picks and try your hand at it. All right. That's it for me. I got a ton of content on the YouTube channel already. So if you haven't already checked it out, go ahead and check it out. Full card breakdown, all that stuff. Everything that you guys need to be ready to go for UFC 263. Uh, and I'm excited for it. Let's make some cash. Again, shout out to Prize Picks, prizepicks.com, promo code UFC100. You guys don't want to miss out. Good luck on your best this weekend. And once again, I'll see you guys next week.